It's been almost a year since the uprising that toppled President Hosni Mubarak, and I'm again in Tahrir Square, this time to report on a different kind of revolution. In recent months, Egypt has experienced something of a cultural renaissance. Artists and writers, musicians and poets, are finally beginning to flex their creative muscle after decades of forced self-censorship. Here in Tahrir Square, the proliferation of street art tells the story of a month's long struggle against tyranny, a struggle that began against Hosni Mubarak, but which rages on against the callous military junta that replaced him. In the month of December alone, more than two dozen demonstrators were killed, many gunned down with live ammunition, and hundreds more were injured, including one woman who was beaten and stripped by security forces, and whose exposed midriff and blue bra has become a symbol of the regime's brutality. In the face of such harsh repression, and indeed, in many ways because of it, Egypt's creative class has pushed forward, producing some of the most daring artwork that the country has seen in decades. I've managed to catch up with the Arabian Nights, the Egyptian rap outfit that recorded Rebel, an aptly named single that went viral on the internet during the revolution. Today, they're recording a song with up-and-coming Palestinian artist Ahmed Rezik, also known as Mida. Our album was the four years prior to the revolution. We weren't able to release it because of the revolutionary content that was on it. Uh, the government used to have to read all of the lyrics and give you the okay to release this album or to release this content to, uh, to the masses, to the people. So they always had it on block, like on lockdown. You guys are not allowed to release it. And since the revolution happened, you'll hear a lot of our music and think we wrote it as a soundtrack to what was happening, but we had actually written that four years prior, calling for what happened to it. This song, Prisoner, racked up hundreds of thousands of hits on YouTube, Facebook, and other social networking sites when the internet blackout was lifted midway through Egypt's 18-day uprising. An anonymous fan had set it to images and television footage from the ongoing revolution. The effect was explosive. Everybody wanted it, they just were too afraid to say it, either on TV or within their art. Only a few people actually did, and the people that did and, and, and all of a sudden got a voice and were heard were put in jail, disappeared randomly. You would, uh, you would see somebody who was like a blogger or something on Monday, Tuesday, you'd call him, you wouldn't answer, a week later you find out he was taken by the secret police. That I'm writing you from my prison. What prison? A prison not a boss, but a prison constructed for me out of my passion for truth and justice. That that propaganda has put me on an imprisonment. Do you feel like you have more freedom to talk now than you did 10 months ago? Or? We have more freedom to be heard now. You could, be, you, could, you, could, you could have talked before, but if people are actually listening to you, you get taken. Now you have more freedom to be heard where we can get 100,000, 200,000 views on one of our videos or whatever, and nothing will happen to us. And hopefully it stays like that. Hopefully we don't lose it to, to crooked politicians or... Are you worried about losing it to the Salafists and the Brotherhood and... I mean, I hope not. I mean, the brother, the square is not going anywhere. The, it's brother, the brotherhood have used hip hop in one of their songs, the theme song. It wasn't like you know, the talent wasn't up there, but you know, they did a hip hop song. Uh, so uh, that, that's a good step forward. I mean, I mean, they're getting open minded enough to not only think of music but hip hop music to promote themselves. They're not saying it's haram. So we don't know if that's a switch in their mind state or not. But hey, no, no. I don't know, man. They're using it. What do you guys think of Occupy Wall Street? We support it, it's man. A like step. The career, they were it's really a step. supporting and I, yeah. it was going it was going on back and forth. Like I think after we went two weeks ago, uh, they went and demonstrated against a company in America that sells the nerve gas. 
And they were wearing they were wearing eye patches. They were they were all wearing eye patches to uh, kind of like relive what we went through with people who lost their eyes here and that. So it was, it's going back and forth between us and them, just like it happened before that in Madrid. Nah, but big shout out to the people in Oakland. Oakland, yeah. we're going down. They're getting yeah. in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Oakland is kind of reminding us of, of how Egypt, how it started in Egypt, because.